Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sean here, and welcome back to episode number two of the Boston Red Sox franchise, where I've now sim spring training, and real quick, we're just going to take a look at how well everyone did. Uh, David Price did pretty well. Rick Porcello really kind of sucked. Clay Buckholtz really sucked. Stephen Wright did pretty well, too. And R Rodriguez sucked as well. Barnes was all right. Carson Smith was really good. Tommy Lane was decent. Uh, Hembry was not too good. Ross was pretty good. Yuhara was excellent. Uh, Tazawa was not too bad. And Kimbrell was also good. How many saves did he have? I can't see. Okay. Uh, as far as our lineup goes, Bogarts struggled. Bradley was good, but somehow he's on a cold streak. Ortiz was just lights out. Uh, Mookie Betts was as well. Hanley Ramirez really sucked. Travis Shaw was pretty good. Dustin Pedroia, not too bad. Chris Young, I mean, that's about what I would expect out of him. And Christian Velasquez... Uh, about what I would expect out of him as well. As for our bench, Hernandez actually had a pretty high batting average, which is surprising. Pablo Sandoval just, he's awful. Um, so before we make our, actually advance it to the regular season, I have a trade that I'm going to make, actually two trades, which is going to involve Brock Holt and Marco Hernandez for, where is the athletics... Here they are. For Chris Davis and can I get this guy? No. Richie Martin. So I'm going to get Chris Davis and Richie Martin, who actually I think is a better prospect than Marco Hernandez is. Uh, yeah, he kind of seems to be. And then we're also going to get a much better left fielder, um, although some of his power numbers are going down. How do you do in spring training? 253, two home runs, 15 RBI, not too bad. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get Chris Davis, and we'll go ahead and do that. And I do believe I had one more trade that I wanted to make that involved... Actually, I have a picture of it. I know it involved Lucas Duda, Antonio Bastardo, and Robert Selman, I think is how you pronounce his name. Uh, so, Antonio Bastardo and... Uh, who can I get? Selman, or can I get Molina? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Selman. I think the G is silent. Um, if I could get Montero, that would actually be very impressive. No, there's no way. Can I get Molina? No. Selman? No. No way. Well, apparently, they don't want to give me anybody else. Um, anyway, I could just give up, like, uh, one of my pitching prospects... No, I don't think that's going to work out. What about this guy? No. Didn't think so. Okay. But anyway, this is going to fill the defensive hole at first base and actually add a lot more power to the lineup as uh, Lucas Dude is much better than Hanley Ramirez. And Antonio Bastardo is a nice bullpen piece. So, uh, like I said before, a pen is not the best, although it's decent with these three guys, but Yuhara is going to be out of here after the first year, I believe. Um, so it would be definitely nice to upgrade this. So, uh, since we've done that, um, I guess I'll go ahead and sim to the trade deadline and see if there's anything I need to change about the team. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned it. We went 18 and 11 in spring training, but yeah, so I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. All right. So I slightly messed up. Um, I was just simming until the uh, draft and accidentally simmed the draft, but it looks like the computer did quite a good job of drafting for us as we got a 91 potential starting pitcher, 87 potential right fielder, 86 potential third baseman. Um, that guy, well, okay, this guy's not too good, but 87 potential relief pitcher which he's a 48 overall so it's going to be a long time before he's in the majors but i uh, might as well sign that guy too all right anyway uh pretty good draft i would say 91 uh potential starting pitchers definitely going to be a good one and he's a lefty too which is nice so anyway we're currently sitting at 32 and 23 uh tied for the lead in the al east with the blue jays that we're about to actually have a series against uh at home i believe maybe not yeah at home um 
so anyway i'll uh sim to the trade deadline now and be back with you in just a minute all right so i'm here at the trade deadline and i found a trade that i'm gonna do here pablo sandoval joe kelly and tommy lane for charlie morton gene mar gomez and cameron rupp uh we really need a catcher that's better than our current one because uh yeah he's hitting 193 and charlie morton's actually having a pretty nice year for himself with a 3.12 era um our starting pitching besides David Price and Rick Porcello actually uh, has not been the best. Mainly looking at Clay Buckholtz here and Stephen Wright actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to make this trade, get Pablo Sandoval's contract off of the payroll. And the only um, contract that we have that's really actually going to be tying us up in some money is Charlie Morton. And it's only about $7 million a year for two more years. So... Uh, I think this will be a good trade. Um, anyway, so we're currently 55 and 48, three and a half games out. Um, Blue Jays are in first, and the Yankees are in second. Uh, is there any other trade that I want to make? I'm not exactly sure. I'll let the computer, um, you know, change the, the uh, lineup and everything. Uh, I actually do have one too many players in the, the MLB at this point. Uh, where was that guy? Oh, yeah, he's a closer, so. Okay, that works. So I need to send down a pitcher, and Buckholtz really has been struggling pretty bad. But he's going to go in waivers. What about this guy? Okay, so I'll send Steven Wright down for now, um, and that'll take care of that. And then we'll put Charlie Morton right in there. So we'll see how we do. This uh, Gomez guy has actually been pretty solid so far this year. And Rupp's not been too bad either. So I think that was definitely a good trade for us, especially to get Sandoval's contract out of here. Um, but yeah, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, next episode, it'll be at the end of the season, and we'll see if we make the playoffs. And if we do, then I'll play the games and kind of just edit them all into one video. Um, but if not, I'll do the off season in next episode as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you made it this far, uh, please, you know, feel free to leave a like down below. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the videos. So that'll be it.